Hello everyone, yes, I am back, finally, after a year-long hiatus. Um, yeah, a lot of shit's been happening recently, um, I've been focusing a lot on my, well, since my last video, um, I, which came out just over a year and a half ago, where I talked about my Oddworld retrospective, mainly just all about um, Abe's Odyssey. Uh, I was editing a new video at the time, but then all the um, footage got corrupted, and my laptop crashed, so I couldn't record any footage. Well, not record. I couldn't edit any footage or anything. I ended up having to wipe everything, start up again from scratch, and um, yeah, it's been a nightmare, honestly. Um, but I've been focusing on other stuff like my physical and mental health. I've been focusing on my current job at the moment, where I've got to get those funds somehow. And also, I've been uh, expanding my various collection on shit. <laughs> so anyway, for this comeback, it's not. This is not going to be a big video. Um, I will, since I've now got everything up and running again. I do plan on going back to our formula. I've got loads of reviews, loads of retrospectives and stuff coming up that I've got planned. Um, we're going to be talking about video games, anime, movies, TV shows, uh, probably other YouTubers as well, maybe, in the future, depending on how well this stuff goes. I do plan on expanding more content and uploading a lot more regularly. If not, well, I'm going to try and attempt to do at least once a week releases. If not, I'll do at least a monthly thing. And if all goes well, maybe I'll start a live stream on Twitch again. And maybe I'll be doing more gameplay videos as well regularly. Um, I might do some collab as well with a few friends and stuff. But you know, all in all, could work out pretty well for us. <laughs> so for this video, I wanted to start do something nice and simple. And as you all know that follow that have been watching my videos, especially like my anime related stuff you guys know that I love my anime and no matter what kind of series it is um, whether it be like an action, a comedy, romance, sci-fi, adventure, all of that shit I thought it'd be a great idea to talk about well not talk about more show you guys um, my manga collection um, it's a very small collection, so this video probably will only be about, not even about 10, well probably just over 10 minutes at least. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys my manga collection, some of it you can see behind me already, uh, but I will end up showing you all of it. Um, it is obviously incomplete, like any collection. Um, I am more than happy to, like, I would recommend any of the stuff that, I, that you'll see in the video. But if there's any suggestions that you guys want to share to me, I'm more than happy to um, hear out in the comment section below. Um, so, without further ado, let's check out the manga collection. Right, so obviously we're going to start on the main shelf right here. Oops. Still trying to get used to holding a camera because I haven't held it in so bloody long. Right, so. Obviously, as you can see from the top of my shelf, I am currently collecting some anime figurines, but some are still on the way. I ordered some more online, and at the moment, obviously, you can see um, we got Nami from One Piece in the back. We got Goku, well, Super Saiyan Goku from DBZ. Another version of Goku from DBZ doing a Kamehameha, and Jolene Kujo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But anyway, enough about that, we're starting on the main shelf. So right here, obviously on the top shelf, we got some of my... some uh, volumes of my Jojo collection. So obviously out here we got the Rohan at the Lavore, all Jojo, obviously by Hirohiko Araki, uh, which you guys obviously know from what I explain in every single one of my... well, all three of my Jojo videos that I've uploaded so far. Yeah, so up here we got Rohan at the Lavore. Um, move it back. Really good um, one-shot video, not video, um, very awesome one-shot novel. 
which got turned into a uh, well in order to make it the creator Araki actually um, was it did it for an exhibit that was actually at the Lavor uh, I've never been obviously um, myself but yeah he basically did it in collaboration with that event and gave us a nice short ended um, volume but obviously I got all parts of Jojo that have been physically released in these hardcover editions um, which are still going at the moment so I think we're only about part way through um, Golden Wind so yeah obviously we've got uh, three volumes of Phantom Blood um, we got all four volumes of Battle Tendency all ten volumes of um, Stardust Crusaders uh, all nine volumes of Diamond is Unbreakable, which is the next part of JoJo I do plan on reviewing at some point. And then after that, as well down here, we got all five volume. well, the current volumes of um, Golden Wind. This one is the most recent released one. Um, I haven't got around to, I've only just got around to starting reading it. And it is really, really good. I mean, we we're only about halfway through... Um, part 5 at the moment as we speak but yeah and so far from what I know is <clears throat> the volumes for part 6 Stone Ocean haven't been really announced yet but we do know it's going to be released either way because of the Netflix adaptation and over here next to the Jojo manga we got all 11 volumes of Chainsaw Man by um, Tatsuki Fujimoto awesome show I haven't seen the anime yet I know episode 1 came out yesterday on Crunchyroll I have read all 11 volumes I started collecting them on my birthday this year um, I managed to get all 11 volumes while I was in London at Comic Con with my buddy Ethan uh, you guys can follow him on Instagram well, I'll put his um, Insta name in the description down below um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend um, reading the Chainsaw Manga at least once. Like, if you guys are watching the anime right now, give it time, read the first... Like, considering volumes 1 through 11 of Chainsaw Man only cover about the first arc of Chainsaw Man, pretty much. And I know part 2 of Chainsaw Man has already started in Japan, but hasn't had a physical English release yet, and I don't think there has been a release date yet for volume 12. Of Chainsaw Man, but yeah, it's really fucking good series. Uh, watch the anime if the reviews are good, <laughs> but also give the manga a definite read if you haven't already. It's such a great series. And down here, um, as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Dragon Ball. Um, I want to realize my mic disconnected. There we go. But yeah, um, obviously I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball. I've got the first 16 volumes of Dragon Ball. Uh, I got this at Comic Con in London. Uh, not the Anime Expo in London. What was it? MCM, I think it is. Um, just recently finished uh, rereading all of it. I don't have all the volumes of um, Dragon Ball at the moment. Because obviously there's a total of 42 volumes of the series. Uh, but this all covers only the original Dragon Ball, and obviously volumes 17 through 42 covers the entirety of Dragon Ball Z. And obviously with it I got my three volumes of Dragon Ball Super, which only really covers up to a portion of the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 tournament, which although in the anime is like the third arc of the series, like the third saga in the series, but still either way it's really, like it's good but obviously it's not OG Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, but Super is still pretty much worth a read at least once. And then down here on the next shelf down we got um, the first 12 volumes of Full Metal Alchemist. One of my all time, another one of my all time favorite animes, like FMA Brotherhood and the OVA series of Full Metal Alchemist, I absolutely adore so much. Um, 
I recently bought these two volumes, uh, 7 through 12. I haven't got around to reading them yet, but I will eventually at some point. So I want to try and get all 27 volumes of um, FMA. And obviously next to it I got um, One Piece. Um, I occasionally watch One Piece every now and then whenever I actually can. Uh, this is still part, this is only volumes 1 through 9 of One Piece, which is still on the East Blue arc, which is the first 60 odd episodes of the anime. Um, I do plan on seeing, if anyone asks, I do plan on seeing the, um, the One Piece movie, well the new One Piece movie, One Piece Red, in November, and I'm definitely seeing that at some point, uh, with my buddy Ethan as well. Um, but yeah, it's really really great series obviously very very long because there's currently in, released in English there's about a hundred and we're on volume 102 I believe yeah it's really really absolutely love the world building of One Piece and the characters such a great series um, then next to One Piece I got the first three volumes of Naruto I do kind of plan on getting the manga of Naruto. I've watched the anime, obviously, of both Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Um, but I don't know if I should get all 72 volumes of Naruto. Maybe once I get more shelf space, obviously, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but then we go down to the bottom shelf. we got the classic collection of Devil Man. Now, this is what the Devil Man... Cry Baby Netflix series is more based on. Well, not based on, but it's more of like the blueprint of it. Um, this is only like half of the original Devil Man story. I still have yet to get the other half, which is only one other volume. Uh, really, really good series. Bit camp, obviously, but the artwork, mm, so good. Uh, next, we got the three, the first three volumes of the hardcover editions of Fist of the North Star. These are fairly recently print, from a fairly recently print, because this year marks the fifth, not fiftieth, um, the fortieth anniversary of the original anime. Uh, hence why these been started being released um, recently. Uh, obviously, I've only got volumes one to three at the moment. I've only read volume one because uh, I bought, I literally got that right off the shelf uh, of its printing. Uh, volumes 2 and 3 I got recent, only a few weeks ago, so I'm going to eventually get around to reading them. I probably might read it all from the beginning, then end up trying to get the all seven volumes of these hardcover editions. Really, really damn good series for people that like old school anime and action manga. I'm gonna move that, move this bottle out of the way. Uh, and obviously next to it I got the Death Note Black Editions. Uh, basically, these are two and one editions of the original Death Note manga. Uh, so yeah, this basically contains of volumes one through four. Um, obviously, a lot of gate, a lot of people's, a lot of people's gateway series of modern manga and anime. Um, the first half of it's really, really good when it's just. Um, L and Light Yagami trying to go against each other, but when this got to the second half, when it was near versus Light, it wasn't so good after that. <laughs> and yeah, I probably might review the an like all these mangas that I'm showing. I probably might review the anime of it at some point if I can. But yeah, only time will tell, <laughs> eventually. And then next to it, on the hidden side of the shelf, I got. The first volume of Akira. I was going to get the box set originally, but the box set is super, super expensive. Um, there's only six, although there's only six volumes of Akira, the box set does look really nice. Uh, awesome movie. Uh, first volume, really, really good. But I know the manga only, well, the movie only covers like a fraction of what the manga does. Because the manga was obviously being developed at the same time as the movie. But yeah, it's really, really fantastic. Like you want, like it's one of those essential uh, mangas that everyone has to have at least one volume of. Uh, but yeah, uh, moving further down, we got the first volume of Helsing Deluxe. I got this on eBay because volume one it was such a pain to try and find. 
um, anywhere else. I know volumes two and three are a little bit more common now. No idea why, but I love the OVA series from the 2000s, and I also love um, Helsing Ultimate and Helsing Ultimate Abridged. No shit, but yeah, absolutely love the Helsing manga. But I do like the OVA series a little bit more than Helsing Ultimate, oddly enough, although Helsing Ultimate is obviously more closer to the manga, because the manga was actually finished at that point, but I don't know, I just prefer the, um, yeah, the OVA series over it. <laughs> then further down a little bit more we have the glorious series that is known as Berserk. Rest in peace, uh, Kentaro Miura. Um, I do plan on getting all of the volumes of Berserk. I know volume... it's either volume 12 or 13 of these deluxe editions. Uh, comes out in a month or so. Um, def like, if you are like me and someone that loves dark fantasy stuff like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Elden Ring, stuff like that, definitely pick up a volume of Berserk, whether it be the small Tankabon volumes or the all these chonky and expensive um, um, deluxe editions. These in the UK are only about, well if you go look at them physically in store, you're looking at about 40 odd pounds, but if you go on Amazon they're like 30 quid, which if I were to transfer it into dollars for American viewers, you're looking at probably around 50, well, 50 to 60 dollars at least. Now we move on to, well, we're near the end of the um, manga collection, so we move into my little hidden cupboards down here. We got more manga, um, more manga that I actually got into uh, fairly recently because of the anime. Um, I got all six, well, the first six volumes of My Dress Up Darling. Really good, wholesome, and like it starts off a little bit edgy, but then ends up becoming like one of the most wholesome animes I've actually watched in a long, long time. Well, I would definitely recommend watching the anime more than the... Well, watch the first few episodes of the anime, then buy the manga. So damn good. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy though that season 2 of the anime recently got announced. So it would be really, really fun to see more of these characters from the manga. And uh, then we got the first volume of Kill the Kill. Uh, volume 1 I picked up right off the shelf when it came out in English. Um, then I basically just sat there on my shelf for years and then eventually collected some dust. Then I read it, thought it was really awesome, watched the anime, thought it was really awesome. And um, yeah, volume 3 and, well, volumes 2 and 3 are really, really hard and expensive to find in English at the moment. So I've got to have the actual proper sufficient funds to support my habit. <laughs> uh, obviously, we got Volume 3 of High School DD. Um, I can't show the cover, obviously, because obviously YouTube will probably end up blocking or age-restricting the video, so thanks, YouTube. A uh, really great um, etchy harem kind of series. The, it's kind of like a more tame version of Tolovru, in a sense, but I highly recommend reading High School DD or watch all four or five seasons of the anime. I think there's about... No, yeah, there'd be about... Yeah, four seasons of the anime, I think. Wait, because the thing... Yeah, the manga ended with only 25 volumes, um, which I haven't read all the way through, and I haven't seen the final season of it yet. But I'll eventually probably get around to watching it either way. <laughs> then we got High School of the Dead. I got volumes 3, 4, and 7. Uh, volume 1 and 2 are on the way at the moment, and I'm currently struggling to find a English release of volumes 5 and 6 as of right now, but I probably might end up finding it eventually, um, sooner or later. I've seen the anime already, real pretty good, because it's what got me into more edgier, like, adult anime, thanks to this series. Uh, then, just next to it, um, you guys probably won't be able to see it very well on the camera quality, but yeah, I got um, the first two volumes of Comey Can't Communicate. I'm currently watching season two. 
got recommended this after watching um, some trash taste uh, podcasts and um, videos of Joe the Anime Man. Really, really great series. Another rom-com series that I would highly recommend. Like My Dress Up Darling. Uh, really, really great stuff for that. Uh, next, uh, we got Bio Booster Armor Guyver Armageddon. Uh, the original Guyver series, awesome as hell. Like for a great like shonen kind of styled action series. Uh, if you like stuff like Power Rangers, Fist of the North Star, um, or like um, Ultraman, or like anything like that, definitely give um, Guyver a look at. Or, well, don't watch the live-action movies, though. Well, the first one, don't watch. Watch the second one, because the second one's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, then, obviously, next week we've got the first three volumes of Beastars. I saw the anime when it came out, uh, thanks to Ethan. Uh, I ended up watching it, watched the second season. First season, really good. Season two kind of dipped a little bit, but then eventually got good kind of, but I am waiting for the final season of, for Netflix to pump out at the moment. But yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get good at some point, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And we close that there. And we go down to the final drawer. We got the first three volumes of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. I re if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I recently read through all of these. Uh, I thought they were pretty damn funny. I haven't seen the anime yet, but I eventually will end up watching it. I know there's only one season, and it's all on Crunchyroll right now, but... Yeah, I, I, I think it's... Um, pretty pretty funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's all of it. Yeah, all my manga collection at the moment, as of right now. So, there you have it. That's my very small anime, not anime, manga collection. Um, I do plan on doing more videos at some point in the future. Obviously the, um, what is it, obviously this video has been pretty tame compared to uh, some of my other videos. And sorry I haven't sounded very great in the video due to, was it, at the moment I do have a cold. Just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, I do plan on going back to our usual formula, uploading videos as regularly as possible as I can. I do have some reviews and stuff coming up soon, some more top favourite videos as well and shit like that. Um, I probably might end up trying to expand more. Um, maybe I'll probably, you probably might see a few friends in the videos as well and so on. <laughs> uh, I will film a new intro and stuff. We're going to start Clean Slate on YouTube. Back to normal. Um, yeah, doing what we can to survive on the website, and I'll be mainly doing this as a hobby. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more, like if you guys want to recommend me some more manga or anything that any more, you want to give me more some of your opinions or yeah, give me any recommendations at all on manga that you think I should take a look at, um, definitely drop it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and. Well, yeah, hit that like button, make, subscribe if you don't, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll be notified on any new content that I upload here from here on out. Um, yeah, leave a comment, follow me on my social medias, follow my Facebook page, which I'll leave in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter as well, which you'll find in the description. Uh, follow me on Twitch, which I haven't got a regular um, live stream schedule, but hopefully I will soon when I actually can. Um, yeah, follow me on all my all my socials are in the description down below. Um, yeah, as much as I hate repeating myself, <laughs> um, yeah, give me some recommendations on stuff that you want to see in the future of videos. Like you want to see more like out and about videos and stuff like that. Uh, you want to see me collab with like friends or other YouTubers as well, if possible. Um, if you want to see more content at all, feel free to comment down below and also feel free to DM me on Twitter as well on anything at all and ladies and gentlemen I will see you in the next one <laughs>